Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's drink. Stay hydrated. Yes. Happy Monday, everybody. Oh, it's Monday. It doesn't feel like Monday because the Daytona 500 hasn't happened yet. It's supposed to happen in 27 minutes. So we will see if I can get a video recorded and uploaded and get back home before the show starts. Of course, if it suddenly starts raining, I'll have a lot more time. But so far, so good. The track is dry. We shall see. Because, you know, I'm really interested in this race because Front Row Motorsports has three cars. And now I kind of want to pull for Tony Raines just to see heads explode when the Rick Santorum car finishes first. This is very unlikely. But it would still be very amusing. It's 5.33. It's now 5.34. Current temperature is 27 degrees. It's now warming up to the point where that foot of snow we were supposed to get tomorrow is now going to be a couple inches of rain instead and a couple inches of snow. Should be just awful. Messy, sloshy, no fun, heart attack, shoveling job. So, yeah. I may end up working from home on Wednesday if it's really as bad as they say it's going to be. Although, it seems like each time there's a weather run, it's less bad for the metro, at least as far as snow totals. So, again, stay tuned. We shall see. Big action this weekend. I went to Costco, and I finally got an HD TV for upstairs. So my 15-year-old Panasonic is being retired. I bought a 32-inch Samsung, which was good. I, I went in wanting a 40-inch, and if I had bought one, not only would it have not fit in my car on the way home, but it would not have fit on the dresser in the bedroom where the TV is. And because it was, you know, 100 and some odd bucks less, that was just enough money to buy a Wicked Blu-ray player with Wi-Fi. Although I don't own any Blu-ray discs. But it has Wi-Fi. So I think that means it can, like, attach to the computers in the house and stream stuff off of them. I haven't quite figured that out yet, but that probably means that I'll have overpaid for basically a little streaming box as opposed to a Blu-ray player. But as I said on Facebook, it feels nice to be part of the 2010s now to have some electronic equipment that isn't from the 90s, not counting the nice HD TV we bought when we moved into the house. Let's go to your questions, if indeed there are any. James, hello James, said that he went to the Dole Plantation during his Hawaii trip. He is a Hawaii expert. I'm sorry, he's a pineapple expert, or Hawaiian pineapple expert anyway. They grow pineapples all over Hawaii, but they're native to South America. The Hawaiian word for pineapple means foreign fruit. So, you can get local pineapples in Hawaii. How about that? Also, at the Dole Plantation, you can buy macadamia nuts flavored like Spam. I'm not surprised. You can get Spam anything in Hawaii. They love Spam. And to be fair, they do good work with Spam. They make Spam stuff that is delicious. That's where I caught on to the Spam sushi that I make at least once a year, which pretty much makes me good for the purchase of at least three tins of Spam a year. Doing my part. Lisa had some comments about Amazing Race teams featuring me, my choices of various family members. She says it would probably be entertaining television, but a bad idea. I, uh, I agree. Still not having seen the show or knowing anything about it, but that sounds like an accurate representation. I'll go with that. CRZ and Lease would quickly be disqualified for talking the camera crew into going for pancakes in the first foreign country rather than completing any sort of race objectives. Because, I mean, pancakes. I don't know, Lise. That sounds like you would be a lot more persuasive than I would be. Uh, which means I probably would go along with it. But 
I don't know. Pancakes? Eh. Okay. Ryan Anderson's Three Point Magic said uh, something about uh, it's now 538. Something about a nudie suit. Uh, I don't care. I'm going to skip it. Scotty Flamingo asks, do you still keep up with anyone from RSPW? I never really kept up with anyone from RSPW. We just all kind of posted at the same time. Uh, Rick Sky notwithstanding. But at least as far as Twitter goes, there's some RSPW guys who follow me and still talk to me. So they keep up with me. I don't really keep up with them. The only guy I keep up with because he's local and there's the threat of real life interaction should it ever come to that is uh, Otto Hackman. Who I don't know if he still posts or not. My university finally gave up on providing me with free Usenet access. So even though I can still access my university account, I can't read news from it. And reading news from Google is just an unpleasant experience and really not worth it because no one in Rexport Pro Wrestling actually posts about pro wrestling anyway. So, no. But Otto and I, we, we meet, we pass in the night on Twitter. And if ROH ever came back to St. Paul, I'm certain we would probably attend the show together. Or we would both be at the show, but in different sections. Both of which have happened during the two ROH shows that I went to. Doug asks, can we expect you to finish tonight's segment under a green and white checkered flag? I think you're mixing your metaphors. Although I expect the race may end under yellow. I only say that because the truck race and the nationwide race ended under yellow. Man, did I almost call that nationwide race or not? I said Tony Stewart was going to win, and by God, he was putting on the winning move before he got crouched, and they had that disastrous final crash. So I hope people aren't as big a buttholes in tonight's race as they are in the nationwide race. Although, if we could see Danica wreck one more time, that'd be incredibly amusing. Hey, how about Joanna Long? She finished ahead of Danica. Anybody talk about her? Not really. They're almost ready to sell me merchandise, too. I went to their website, and they said, go to this website. And that website didn't have a store, so I was like, well, that seems kind of silly. Sometime this year, though, you're going to see me with a number 70 Joanna jersey. Hopefully it'll be made for men, too. We shall see. I said if I was going to watch the Daytona 500, that would be a sacrifice of tonight's live tweeting of Raw. Greg asks, can't you multitask and watch and tweet both the 500 and Raw? Slacker? No. No. Unlike you, I only have one television to watch at a time. You know, if we were all rich, rich with pie money, where we would be able to look at two televisions at the same time, then maybe we could do that. But it won't happen. Now, what could happen is there could be a timely rainstorm that could start about 7.55 central time, rain really hard for about five minutes, and then cause them to have to take about two hours and five minutes to dry the track. So we could watch Raw, and then just as Raw is over, we could be back at the, the red flag and be lifted. That would be perfect fantasy booking for tonight's television. Make it happen. Won't happen. It's like last night. It's the all-star game for NBA. Pretty good. Eh, it's okay. Kevin Love was... Kind of impressive. Didn't get that double-double, though, so no streak there. But it did get boring, so it didn't feel too bad about turning to the Oscars when it started. But then the Oscars were boring. And it's just like, I don't know, I, Billy Crystal, can we say milk toast? I think officially his performance was milk toast. Look it up. M-I-L-Q-U-E-T-O-A-S-T. Maybe I'm just... I don't know. It's not like I'm older. Because if I were older, I would be like, ah, yes, Billy Crystal. Mm, delightful. Excellent performance. Instead, it's like, boy, this sucks. Well, it didn't suck. Suck, suck. Not like last year. That. That sucked. At least, I think we had rain delay, day 2500, conflicting with that, too, didn't we? I seem to remember kind of flipping upstairs. Anyway. My ten minutes is up. So... We'll see what happens. 
There may be racing to talk about tomorrow. There may not. I may not be here. No, I'll be here. But if it snows a lot, I may leave early. So we shall see. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you sometime later this week at some nebulous time.